Hello scientific people, how are you today? So today I am going to produce carbon dioxide gas by mixing vinegar that is the acetic acid CH3COOH and the baking soda which is sodium bicarbonate NHCO3. So basically this is a double displacement reaction. You will get sodium acetate and H2CO3 carbonic acid which still breaks down into carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas. Now for this uh, entire experiment I would be requiring an empty plastic bottle, a matchstick, vinegar, baking soda, a balloon, simple balloon of any size is fine and I would be requiring a funnel. Right, so uh, this funnel is actually big in size. If you have a smaller funnel, that's fine. And even if you don't have funnel, then also it's okay. So first of all, let me open up this baking powder. And now this baking powder, I'm supposed to fill it in this balloon. So I would be needing the help of the funnel in doing so. So here is my funnel and I am going to invert the funnel and attach the balloon like this. So hopefully all of you can see that the balloon is being attached with the funnel in this way. Now I am going to add some powder. This is the baking powder. So I have added the baking powder inside, baking soda inside the balloon and here is my balloon ready. Now I am supposed to add the vinegar in this plastic bottle. So I am adding this So I have added some vinegar inside this plastic bottle Now what is to be done people You are supposed to fit this balloon on the mouth of this bottle Make sure you do it carefully. Don't take a very wide mouth bottle. It is not required. And here we are ready. So as you can see, we are ready with our setup. Now what we are going to see is basically when you mix these two carbon dioxide gas is going to be produced and that carbon dioxide gas is going to go up and finally the balloon is going to inflate, right? So. Hopefully all of you are yeah, all of you are uh, excited to see what's going to happen. Let's do it. Wonderful. And see there are effervescences bubblings that are happening because the carbon dioxide gas is produced these effervescences are evidence that chemical reaction is happening and as you can see that the size of the balloon is continuously increasing so this is the carbon dioxide gas which is filling up our balloon Okay, now I want to check whether the gas which I have is carbon dioxide or not. So what am I going to do is people, now I don't require this balloon so I am going to remove it and since there is carbon dioxide gas inside it, I am very 
gently going to close the mouth of the bottle so that so that I don't lose my carbon dioxide gas and it is being constantly produced. Now since I want to check whether this gas inside is carbon dioxide or not so I am going to take a burning matchstick and I am going to put it in and we know that carbon dioxide is a non supporter of combustion so the flame will extinguish. So let me take a matchstick, we will do it twice to double check our results. So. Now this is a burning matchstick and see the matchstick has extinguished even the process is continuing. I am again going to show you this one gone. So that means this carbon dioxide is a non supporter of combustion and hence we validify our experiment. So guys hopefully you have understood the uh, explanation of my part and if you have enjoyed my explanation please do subscribe to my channel and let me know how can I improve my channel more and more thank you for watching the video thank you